Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for coming back to the channel. I got another video today. I got a new air gun to show you. Uh, this is the Stoger. This is the Stoger S4000E. And I already got it out of the box, as you can see. Now, um, to talk about it a little bit, this one features their integrated suppressor technology that they claim. Um, and it also has what they call their multi-grip system, which comes with different uh, colored uh, grips for like the pistol grip and for up here uh, to hold on to. With the different colors, the, the orange, the blue, and the, the regular black, all, all feel different, have different uh, checkering on them. Feel, and it feels different in the hand. Some are more fine, some are more coarse. Uh, so it really lets you tune it to your personal preference on how to, on how to hold the gun. Um, and it also, there, let's see, doesn't say anything about the suppressor technology, but it does say, it does have an adjustable trigger. The front sights are interchangeable. I got an orange one, so I can take it with the red, or I can take it out for scoped applications, which I probably should because you can see the front, front sight through the scope, but... Uh, this thing claims 1200 feet per second, 177 cal, um, so it is pretty neat. And yes, I have been, I have had this gun for a while, and I have been uh, playing with it. And I found a pellet that it somewhat likes, that will shoot somewhat accurate, but here's the gun itself. And you can see that well, it comes with a 4x32 scope, it's adjustable eye relief. Um, and I really like that these, it has this style of turrets, where you can just adjust it with your thumb where you can just adjust it with your thumb and you don't need like a screwdriver or anything. I brought out a screwdriver because I couldn't remember if it was that or not. But but yeah, there's that, you know, adjustable rear sight, front fiber optic sights, um, pretty nice. It is an auto safety, so every time you cock it, this little guy pops out, so you gotta remember to push him in. But there is the Stoger. So, I got some targets set up down range, and we're gonna take some shots at them. But first, before we get to that, I remembered to bring my chronograph this time. So let's get some crony shots done. See what the velocity of this guy is. We'll do we'll do a three shot average. We'll take three shots with the Apollo Champion 8.4 grain. That's what I got. That's what it seems to like. Uh, so we're gonna shoot those and get you and I'll edit it and I'll give you the average velocity of those three shots and the average foot pounds of energy for those of you that like that. So let's get some shots in, let's get and then let's get to plinking. Nine fifty-nine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, by the way, this gun is refurbished. I've got I got it off of Pyramid Air. Um, it is refurbished. So I don't know exactly what they did to it. I have probably put at least 50 rounds through it, 50 pellets through it, but this thing just seems uh, seems very stout. I don't know if it needs some more pellets ran through it to break it in a little bit better, but um, it uh, slinging an 8.4 grain pellet at over 900 feet per second is pretty impressive. I don't think I have an air gun that'll do that. Until now. Okay, 929. It dropped, dropped a little bit. Alright, so as you saw, first two shots 959, 958, and 929. So it did drop a little bit there on the third shot. Maybe we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Actually, we'll do two more. Let's do five shots. We'll do five shot average. Do a five shot average with the with these pellets <clears throat> just so we can see what we're getting okay, 963 went way back up so that was shot number four we'll do shot number five and 62 all right it is impressive there is some power coming out of this Stoger, that is for sure. So now, now we got some targets down there. I got, I don't know if you guys have 
sell my, I don't think I've shown you guys in one of my videos recently, but I got a four inch gong tied up down there to a pallet that I've been bringing in the morning. And then I got uh, my spinning target down there. I got a couple cans tied up and I got a couple aerosol cans full of this, uh, I don't know, what is it, Glade or Glad Hawaiian scent thing. And wife doesn't like it, so it's a shooting target now. So, let's ring the four inch gong. that gong. <clears throat> Let's try for a smaller target. Let's go for my spinning target on the left. Down. It's very cold and windy this morning here. Nice spring weather we have. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Makes it spin. All right, let's shoot one of them Glade air freshener things. Let's see what happens to it. <laughs> that was neat. All right, I got some cans hanging up. We've got some swinging cans. Let's pick on those a little bit. Knock that can clean off. <laughs> Smack them. <laughs> Let's hit the gong one last time for good. One last thing before I go, let's shoot a five shot group and we'll call it good. So if you're wondering what the power of this thing is, there's the front of it. We can clean through the back. Alright, <clears throat> so I got my, I got a target set, I got a, tar a paper target set down there with a bunch of targets. We're going to be shooting at the middle there where that oval is, where those two circular, where those two targets are in the oval in the middle. I got the camera pointed, I'm going to be shooting at the top one. We're just going to take five shots. Here we go. Five shots, 18 yards. <clears throat> Last shot. Alright. There's five shots. It doesn't look too bad on the paper. It looks like if I had this the wind is adjusted down, it looks like they'd be all on the black black bullseye, but take a look. So shooting this has actually been really nice. It is a nice uh Air rifle. It's a bit louder than I anticipated. Some people have said that these are pretty quiet. I mean, the spring—it's a—it's a spring piston, by the way. So it's a spring piston. Spring pistons are normally pretty loud, so I'm not going to count that. Um, it seems like maybe though shooting it uh, today, maybe it seemed like it quieted it down a little bit because the muzzle report still seems loud, even though they claim to have suppressor technology built in. But um, in my opinion, it seems like it's quieted down because, like I said, I've been playing with this. You know, since I got it, you know, I can't help myself. Um, had it probably for a little while, and been shooting it, and it seemed kind of loud, but it, it's, I think it's quieted down a bit. And shooting those pellets as fast as it is, nine, over 900 feet per second with an 8.4 grain pellet out of, out of a brake barrel, to me, that's pretty impressive. Um, this thing's booking some power. I got other brake barrels that shoot those heavy pellets sub, you know, 800 or less. So this thing seems to be <clears throat> pretty stout. Um, definitely 
would probably shoot heavier pellets in it now that I know what feet per second it is because I think about 960 is right around that sweet spot where you want to be where do you want to be at or less to really stabilize and have good accuracy so I might shoot heavier pellets maybe some I got some Norma 9.1s I might get some Crossman 10 and a half so I got those Gamo uh, 10.4 grain pellets you guys haven't seen yet I may uh, shoot that, those a little bit since they're a little bit heavier and see if this uh, improves accuracy maybe it's just slinging them too fast even an 8.4 grain still is pretty heavy in my opinion for a 177 maybe metal weight but yeah let's go take a look at that target all right so here's our group not the not the worst um these four shots were really close together i don't know if those were the f <clears throat> these might have been the first four that last one might have that might might have been the fifth shot that went low because i um when i shot all four i saw all four grouped in i shot the fifth one i didn't really see it right away so that might have been the fifth shot those four look like they grouped real nice you'll be able to tell on the camera footage which shot this is because it's much closer for you guys to see um, but not bad though these four shots pretty close together I'd say that's a workable group that's that it's good hunting accuracy um, but yeah it's uh but so there is the Stoger s4000 overall I really like the gun I like the way it looks the way it feels I like I do like the trigger it is adjustable there is a hole right here if you can see you can put a screwdriver in Allen. It looks like it's. Let's see. It's probably not that big. It's probably that little one. There's a little screw right here behind the trigger. That's probably the adjustable one. The one you adjust to adjust the trigger pull. Um, little, little tiny Phillips. Um, the trigger though does feel nice. I do like the way that the trigger pulls. It feels nice and smooth. It doesn't feel crunchy or like it hangs up at all. Well, that last shot there, <clears throat> I was just really just slowly pulling the trigger, and it felt good and crisp until it hit that wall right where it's about ready to break and it, it just felt smooth I, I do like it um i don't i don't know what the trigger pull is because i don't have one of those devices um but to me it feels fine um <clears throat> i'm used to heavy triggers and some of our firearms and some of the air guns i know some some have heavy triggers but it, i don't know i don't really notice that much of a difference but i mean it shot good so so there you guys go there's the stoger s4000 uh great air rifle um, hope you guys enjoyed the video I got some more stuff to show you coming up some new some new goodies as well so stay tuned and thanks for watching